So you hit level 85 in Cataclysm and you want to know where to start when it comes to preparing for tier 11 rating. Look no further. In this video, I'll be breaking down everything you can do to increase your player power. We'll go over the most efficient way to spend your time once you ding 85, and also what you need to do in order to get the maximum amount of gear you can get before the release of the rate tier. This guide will be tailored towards people hitting 85 within the first few days of Cataclysm release. If you join a bit later, you'll have a few more tools at your disposal, like binding equip epics from the first rate tier and tier gear from Baron and Holt. With that said, here's how to go about gearing in Cataclysm Classic. So depending on what you did leveling up, your gear could be as low as 290 item level to as high as 320 item level. That means, regardless of how you got to level 85, there'll be a few things you need to upgrade to be able to queue for your first heroic dungeon. Yes, you could head straight to the dungeon with your mount and do each of the dungeons once, but for most people, I would not recommend going that route. Not only will you make the content harder and slower than it needs to be, but being able to queue from your heroic dungeon finder will allow you to progress towards your valor point cap for the week, which we will need to fill through that system until we get access to the raids. Further, queuing for a random dungeon will allow you to bypass the daily lockout for heroic dungeons, allowing you to do more than 9 heroics in a day. Our first few upgrades we can progress towards before reaching level 85. If you leveled up through questing, you should be honored with all factions except maybe Dragon Maw Clan for the Horde and Wildhammer Clan for the Alliance. At honor, you'll be able to pick up one or two item level 333 pieces for your spec. And since you have four factions you can get 333 item level from, that will give you quite a nice boost after hitting level 85. While you're at the vendors, pick up the reputation tabard from each faction. Another thing I recommend doing while leveling up is to do Lost City of Tolvir and Grimba Toll once. The quest will give good experience, but more importantly, they will reward 333 item level guaranteed loot. As an added bonus, you could get lucky by getting a few drops from the dungeon itself. Remember to equip your tabard for these dungeons, as even on normal, these two dungeons along with Halls of Origination give you reputation towards your Cataclysm factions. If you're reaching 85 more than a week after the launch, this is where you should check the auction house for 359 and 346 item level BOE gear. We'll want to have started the expansion with 4000 justice points and 4000 honor points that we can convert into justice points. Replace your weakest items with what's available from the vendor. Start with the items with the lowest cost unless legs and chest is an enormous upgrade for you. If your class runs a weapon in the offhand, you can pick up one from the vendor for a very small amount. At this point, we'll want to make sure to head over to Tol Barad to clear out the daily quest for the day. Almost everyone will have their pre ray best and slot trinkets from this reputation, and thus doing the dailies should be a priority so that you have the trinket in time for the raid release. If you want to know how to min-max the reputation gain, I have a video that goes over how to significantly speed up the reputation process. Now it's finally time to start dipping your toes into heroic dungeons. You'll most likely still be short of the item level needed to queue heroic dungeons, so make a group with a composition that has the least amount of competition for gear and start heading to the entrance of the dungeons. We'll want to equip whatever tabard that will get our pre ray best in slot gear from at Exalted. Getting the helmet and chant from the appropriate faction should be your secondary goal, but absolutely must be done before stepping into your first raid. Start with dungeons that have big ticket items that are part of your pre raid best in slot list. Do this until you can start queuing for heroics, then do the same, but through the LFG tool. If we are a few days into the expansion at this point, we'll want to get our crafted BUE best in slot. This means picking up the two armor specific items from tailoring, leatherworking or blacksmithing as well as a blacksmithing shield if you're a prop paladin or warrior. Several classes will have solid dark moon trinket options and should be picked up at this point if it's part of your pre ray best in slot. If you're an engineer or alchemist, you'll want to get your professionals max to pick up the 359 goggles from engineering and 359 trinket from alchemy. Honestly, I think it's a good point to level up your professions whatever they may be for that profession specific bonus. You can also fill whatever gap you have in your gearing with 346 item level BOEs at this point, but frankly, you'll be geared enough to absolutely steamroll heroics, and with how expensive true gold and other materials will be at launch, it will probably not be worth picking up BOEs that aren't part of your pre-rate best in slot. 
At this point, it's just about finishing up the last few slots that haven't dropped yet. You should by now have gotten your 490 Valor Points, which will be the weekly cap when we are limited to dungeons, and as such, you can start queuing for individual dungeons that have your last pre-ray best slot pieces. Now you'll want to make sure to have finished up the appropriate reputation factions for gear and henishons as well as the Therisane reputation grind, which you can also do by just equipping your tabard. You'll want to keep doing your Tolbarad dailies and possibly scale up the effort you put into getting reputation from the faction. For a lot of people, you'll be done at this point, but for some, the worst part is to come, namely Archaeology. Several classes will have their pre raid best in slot from this secondary profession, and if you want to know how to optimize your archaeology leveling while giving yourself the best chances at getting the gear that you want, I have a separate video on my channel going over that in detail. Now, with a bit of luck, congratulations! You are now as geared as you possibly can be as we head into the launch of the first raid tier. Fix up your gear with enchants and reforges, and you're good to go to get absolutely clapped by Omnichon Defense System. Now with the beta in full swing, there is a ton of things to go over as we are heading into Cataclysm. I've created a playlist with all of my Cata related videos, and if you want more from me in the future, make sure to subscribe. But that's all for now, thank you very much for watching, until next time.